decoder let's learn hi everyone welcome back to our channel deepus decoder let's learn something new today today we are going to learn about auto mapper in c sharp let's see why we need to use auto mapper in our project if you want to copy the data from one object to another object or dtos to model if you follow the traditional methodology it's very time consuming and very complex to convert data from one object to another object auto mapper to fix all these problems with the few lines of code so this is the reason to we, we need to use auto mapper in our project now i will practically show you how much complexity if you follow the traditional methodology for converting one object to another object or dtos to model here i am created one console application and i have created two classes one is profile class another one is profile dto class each class i have declared four properties now i will show you way of converting one object to another object with the help of traditional methodology and i will explain what are the drawbacks in that methodology initially i am assigning the data to my profile class and in the below line of code is converting the profile object to profile dto object in traditional methodology the main drawback of using traditional approach is for the each property we have to write the code manually for moving the data from source class to destination class here you can observe that my source class have a four properties so for this four properties i am write the code manually for moving the data from source property to destination property this is the one main drawback why because in if you take in the live projects our model classes or our dto classes have more than 20 properties or 50 properties at that time if we, we need to write the code for manually for each uh, 20 properties or 50 property it's very time consuming so this is the main disadvantage if you follow the traditional approach uh, another drawback of using traditional approach is whenever if you add new property to our source class at the each time we have to edit the code for converting a source object to destination object so this is the also a very problematic now i will show you practically how it is difficult here i am adding one new property to my source class I am adding same property in my destination class and I am assigning data to my newly added property in my source class. Here you can see that I am adding new property to my source class but it will not take an automatically for converting source class to destination object. Here again we need to write the code for converting newly added property from source property to destination property here i am editing the code for adding new property value to my destination property so like this manner for each time whenever we added new property to our source object again we need to write or edit the code for converting that new property value to our destination property value so this is also a very problematic for developers these are all the main drawbacks if you using traditional approach for converting one object to another object or DTO to model or vice versa. Let's see what is auto mapper. Auto mapper in C sharp is a mapper between two objects. With the help of this auto mapper, we can able to convert one object to another object or DTO to model very simply. The main advantage of using auto mapper over traditional approaches is this auto mappers create a map between source object properties to destination object properties automatically without writing any additional code. This is the main use of using auto mapper in our project. Let's see step by step procedure of using auto mapper. The first step is we need to install auto mapper NuGet in our project to use of this auto mapper class in our project. Now I will practically show you remaining step for implementing auto mapper in our project. Let's go to Visual Studio. Here I am open my console application. Now I will show you how to install auto mapper NuGet in our project. 
here we need to go to the manage nuket packages and if you search with auto mapper you can able to find out the auto mapper nuket we need to install this nuget in our project for using auto mapper in our project after installing auto mapper in our project the second step is we need to configure the our auto mapper for converting one object to another object now i will show you the code for creating the configuration for the auto mapper Here we need to give the our source class and destination class. Here my source class is profile and destination class is profile DTO. So like this manner we have to configure the our auto mapper for converting one object to another object. And here you can see that in create create map here we need to give the our two objects names. Here my source object is profile, so that's why that's why I'm giving profile here, and my destination object is profile DTO. So I'm giving the second one is profile DTO. So in this manner, here I'm converting profile object to profile DTO object. Third step is we need to create the instance for the mapper class, and we need to pass this mapper configuration as a parameter to the that mapper class. Now I will write the code for. creating instance for the mapper class and i am passing mapper configuration as a parameter final step is we need to write the code for creating the mapper between source object to destination object now i will show the code for that for dot map here we need to give the our destination object name here our destination object is profile dto and we need to pass a our source object uh, name here our source object is profile so these are all the three lines of code for converting one object to another object with the help of auto mapper here you can observe that with the help of auto mapper we are writing the only few lines of code for converting one object to an another object but in the but in the traditional approach you can observe that we are writing few like very more lines of code for converting one object to an another object and that too if you increase the our class properties is more than 20 or 50 the lines of code will be increased in traditional approach but if you go with the auto mapper the lines of code is same for n number of properties in the class so this is the one main advantage of using auto mapper another advantage of using auto mapper is in future if you add any new properties to your classes no need of editing existing code it will automatically work for the newly added properties for converting one object to another object but in a traditional approach we have to edit the code for for newly added properties this is the another main advantage of using auto mapper class thank you for watching our videos please like share and subscribe my channel dipus decoder